All right, I got some new fragrance news coming your way. Hey Fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a Fragrance Bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have some news. Uh, the latest news of the latest things that have come out in the last couple of weeks. Of course, it's probably not everything. I try to get most of the things that I think people are interested in, but there are a few things that fall between the cracks and some things uh, that I think maybe not as interesting. And if you like this type of content, I'd invite you to subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. But let's go ahead and get straight to it. Let's get to the news. Porsche Design is coming out with a new fragrance, Porsche 180, which is one of the latest flankers in their line. The bottle looks pretty cool, and apparently you turn it 180 degrees and the sprayer pops up or the sprayer works. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but we'll find out once we get the bottles. The fragrance itself is supposed to be sweet, youthful, and woody, and it's supposed to follow a lot of the trends of modern masculine fragrances, such as Creed Aventus and Paco Rabanne's One Million. That is a really wide disparity there. <laughs> Niche fragrance line Neanderthal is coming out with two new fragrances for 2018, Neanderthal Dark and Neanderthal Light. Neanderthal Light has notes of Hinoki, Coriander, Galbanum, Violet Leaves, uh, Oris, Metallic Accords, Ambergris, Patchouli, Leather, Cedar, and Musk. Neanderthal Dark has notes of uh, green foliage, ginger, pink pepper, grapefruit, pine, frankincense, geranium, algae, cumin, vetiver, patchouli, oud, ambergris, musk, leather, sandalwood, tobacco, and labdanum. That sounds really interesting. Frederick Mall is coming out with a limited edition version of seven of his classic fragrances. The bottles of these are all inspired by legendary uh, architect and glassmaker Carlos Scarpa, and the bottles themselves are personally signed by the perfumers who created them. Dior is releasing J'adore Absolu, which should not be confused with uh, 2007's Dior J'adore Labsolu or 2012's Dior J'adore Labsolu. No, this is Dior J'adore Absolu. Joking aside, the notes actually sound very good. Notes are Magnolia Absolute, Sandback Jasmine Absolute, Grass Jasmine, Rose Centifolia, Indian Tuberose, and Orange Blossom. Kenneth Cole is releasing Serenity, Energy, and Intensity. The three are a line of fragrances that are supposed to be blended to find your own scent at a relatively inexpensive cost. Adding serenity to the blend makes the composition more powdery and casual and relaxed. Blending it with energy adds freshness and sportiness. And intensity has more of an oriental character that adds more of a formal or serious character to it. Mont Blanc is coming out with a new fragrance called Explore, and it's supposed to invite the user on a journey. Notes are bergamot, sage, pink pepper, vetiver, leather, patchouli, cocoa, ambrofix, and akigawa wood. The bottle looks amazing too, by the way. It looks really cool. Tommy Hilfiger is coming out with Tommy Now for Men and Tommy Now Girl. Tommy Now for Men features ginger and geranium. And Tommy Girl Now has a flowery core with citruses and spearmint. That's totally gonna remind me of high school. <laughs> Ralph Lauren is coming out with Ralph Lauren Collection Saffron, which is part of the Ralph Lauren Collection, kind of a private blend line of sorts for Ralph Lauren. And each of the fragrances in the collection is supposed to be reminiscent of trips, journeys, and cultures around the world. Collection Saffron is the newest addition to this line. It has notes of grapefruit, cardamom, black pepper, saffron, divana, suede, and amber woods. Yves Saint Laurent is releasing new limited edition fragrances of black opium and Mont Paris. And these are the gold attractions editions. And these are just new bottles. So the same juice inside, just kind of gold bottles. Versace is releasing Eros Flame, which is a flanker to 2016's Eros. Notes are Lemon, Mandarin, Chinado Accord, Black Pepper, Rosemary, Pepperwood, Geranium, Rose Facets, Cedar, Patchouli, Vetiver, Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. And this is going to be in an Eau de Parfum concentration. Bond number no. 9 is coming out with a new fragrance, and that's Lafayette Street. The notes in this seem pretty good. Uh, bergamot, Coriander, Floral Notes, Ambroxan, Apple, Vanilla, Dry Woods, Tonka, and Amber. So that seems pretty good. Prada is releasing La Femme Prada Absolu and Loam Prada Absolu, which are limited edition flankers to the original Loam and La Femme. I'm not exactly sure if the notes are different. The notes seem similar in my memory to the original Loam, so I'm not exactly sure if they're the same, but they seem like really good notes anyway, so definitely check that out. I'm really interested in trying that anyway because Loam was great. DS and Durga is coming out with four new exclusive limited edition fragrances uh, of Duran Duran scents. Now, apparently these are exclusive to Liberty of London. Now, these four scents are obviously inspired by Duran Duran songs, and those are Come Undone, uh, Hungry Like the Wolf, You Kill Me With Silence, and Skin Divers. 
I probably won't ever get to smell those, but they sound interesting. French niche line Olfactive Studio is coming out with a new sepia collection. They're inspired by the photography of Martin Hill, and they're created by perfumer Bertrand Duchafour. And these fragrances are Vanilla Shot, Leather Shot, and Shepra Shot. Indie House Smellbent has just released 1993, which is a part of their Franken Smellies collection. And in a nutshell, it's supposed to smell like Halloween night. Notes are Cauldron of Black Pepper, Sparkling Root Beer, uh, Rich Chocolate, Flaked Coconut, Blood Cedar, and Red Patchouli. And it's inspired by one of their favorite movies, Hocus Pocus. Jacques Bogart is releasing Club 75 VIP, which is a flanker to Club 75, released in 2016. It's inspired by speakeasies and is a fresh, modern fougere scent. Notes in this are bergamot, a grapefruit, ginger, cinnamon, lavender, peppermint, cardamom, cedar, leather, and sandalwood. Zara has released two new lines. Uh, one is the molecules and one is the naturals. The molecules are based on synthetic molecules and perfumery, and the naturals are based on raw materials, uh, natural ingredients. The molecule line has three, and that is Ambrox, Cashmirin, and Coronal. There are four fragrances in the naturals line, and that is Osmanthus, Cardamom, Vanilla, and Vetiver. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. And that's all I have for the news this week. Let me know what you like, what piques your interest down below. Let me know it in the comments, of course. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I love you for it. Did I miss anything? Let me know. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.